Welcome back, Scent Squad. And we'll see here with a fragrance exclusive for you guys for Fragrance Friday. So what we have today is our Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. This right here smells like a vacation in a bottle. It's very light, carefree. It's really airy. It's sweet. If you like sweet florals, this is perfect for you. I'm not a huge floral lover of fragrances, but something that's like a sweeter floral is so cute to me. It smells just like the epitome of summer. It's kind of giving mermaid vibes. I feel like this is something a mermaid would wear if she wore perfume. She is very uplifting and tropical with top notes of kiwi and orange. Again, this is what you're going to smell first. This is the immediate burst of the fragrance that you're gonna get hit with. It's very energizing, it's uplifting, it's fruity. It is a very happy burst of sweetness, followed by your heart notes or your secondary notes. So your secondary notes typically last for hours. So this is what you're gonna smell for a bit before you get the dry down aroma. You have Indian Jasmine, followed by Ambrette and rounding off with Rose. So those are your heart notes. This is what you're gonna smell for hours, followed by your base notes or your dry down aroma. This is what you're gonna smell the longest and I absolutely love these notes. We have White Musk and Texas Cedar. Now this fragrance is perfect for the summertime, springtime, and daytime. It has softer notes that aren't as prominent if you were to wear it in the evening. So that means when you're wearing it during the daytime, the siage for it is about an arm's distance. So anywhere where you stretch your arms that you can reach, you're able to smell it. If you work in an office, I feel like this is a nice, sweet, floral, inoffensive scent that you can easily wear during the summer and springtime where you will get a a lot of compliments from your coworkers or just people that you're passing by like in the office they get a whiff of this it is very nice soft and sweet longevity of this fragrance it lasts anywhere between eight to ten hours on my skin for me and on clothing it lasts even longer i have pretty much bathed in this but you can also hit your pulse points keep in mind if you hit your pulse points your fragrance is going to last even longer we're talking about your neck wrists right in front of your elbows where it creases behind your knees you can hit your ankles if you want to also your chest area not all of those are pulse points but those are areas where it will really bring out the scent especially if you're hugged you're going to get a nice whiff that's going to come up so what age range is this fragrance best suited for? I feel like honestly, it leans more towards the younger crowd because it's so juicy, fruity, sweet. It smells like a very youthful fragrance. It's giving 20s and 30s. That's what I'm thinking. Could someone older wear it? Yes, but when I think of an older fragrance, someone who's wearing something older, it's more floral, it's strong, it has a kick, it's powerful, it's sexy, it's sensual. This, I don't feel like it's that. I feel like it's cute, it's very lighthearted, it's playful, it's like a very joyous young fragrance where you're energized wearing this and I feel like when you're older you're a little bit more esteemed, you're experienced and it brings out a sexy fragrance. This right here is more like cute, playful, fun, and youthful. That's what that reminds me of essentially in a nutshell. If you like fragrance reviews, scent notes, you wanna know about a fragrance, or maybe you have The Coral Fantasy by Valentino, and you wanna share your experience, I would love to hear that. What I need you to do right now is like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Toodaloo.